Hello guys, this is Deathilla and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Survival. Now guys, I regret to inform you that this will be the final episode of this season of this series. Now, before you start going down to the comment section and panicking and all that stuff, just remember that I said this will be the end of this season. That means that we will be starting another season soon, a few days after this video is uploaded. Now you may be asking, why why are you doing this? Well, over the past few weeks and months, as you may have noticed, the number of episodes on this series has, well, dropped, and the number of views per episode have also dropped, and, well, at the same rate. The reason for that is, I just don't feel the same about this world. There is a ton of projects that I have done, or I am in the progress of doing, which I just don't like, and I feel as if 95% of the projects in this world, I want to redo them. So I think I'm better off just restarting in another world. So I've already picked out a seed for all that stuff. But to end the series, I thought I would give you a world tour and if you want, you can find a world download down in the description below if you want to continue on playing in this world when I leave it. So yeah, um, to start off, this is world spawn. Didn't really do anything with it. Yeah, I wasn't exactly happy. But as you can see, a lot of this stuff is unfinished, so feel free to finish it in your own time. But I will try to make sure that next season this doesn't happen. We will finish every project we start and we will be doing it for much longer. Now, if you take a look up there, that is an AFK platform because right below this little artificial hill, yes, I made it. This was flat before. We have a mob, like a mob spawner. And here is where all the drops go. It's currently off. I think I only used this once when I first built it and then all the resources done. Well, we're good enough. But yeah, I haven't really played in here a lot. So yeah, that will be why. Now, I made this path, came down. It was originally meant to go through this entire plains biome. But of course it didn't. And over here we have a little shack which we rebuilt a few times. And that is the entrance to an AFK fish farm, which I think the design may actually be broken. I'm not entirely sure at the moment. It could possibly be broken, but yeah, we got a lot of loot from this. Like, we got our insane bow, all the enchantments. Like, in fact, the funny thing is, this bow, you can't actually make it anymore. Because you can't have infinity and mending on the same thing. So next season, we won't have insanely overpowered bows like we do this time. Because I, I know I had a few of them lying around. Um, but yeah, um, continued on. Doing little detailing bits and pieces like so. We'll come back to this area in just a moment. Um, do I have, yes, I've got fireworks. Um, over here, we have... Well, it was a XP farm for a while before we went to the end. I... I also designed this farm myself, it was based off a design by Tango Tech, and I messed about with the design a little bit. There is a tutorial for it on my channel, it done very well, it got a lot of views, I'll put a link to it in the description below as well, or in the iCards or something. So yeah, this tutorial for a dual Inspire XP farm, well, it was a normal, just one, but you can't implement it so it has two spawners. And well, yeah, this thing was pretty, pretty good. I must say, I really like this farm. It worked out really nice. Plus, the way I did the interiors, I liked it as well. Um, right, so if we head on over this way, i done a project way out here. And it was the first time I've done a project of this sort. And I must say, it went very, very well. Essentially what it was, it was, yeah, I was digging out some of the desert there. And that is where I fought my first wither and died to it. What this farm was, it was two farms in fact, it was a squid farm and a cactus farm. So we got a ton of loot from it. We got a ton of, yeah I've still got a beacon here. So we got a ton of ink, a ton of cacti. As you can see we set up item elevators and stuff so it's completely automatic. And yeah I will let this design and we will do a similar design next season. Yeah, I just look at it, it uses minecarts and stuff. Now another reason why I kind of felt kind of disjointed with this world was mainly because of the iron farm. Because I tried to get it to work, I think I spent more than 100 hours trying to fix it. 
and it just wouldn't work so I gave up on it. And well, the way I felt about the rest of the world, I never finished the slime farm. I wanted to completely redo our main base area. I was going to make a custom mountain, put the main base under it. I wanted to do a garden farm. Everything was unfinished. And yeah, I, f I have the feeling that most of you guys won't enjoy it either. So that's why we are doing this, I'm afraid. So if we come on, we'll come back to this bit in just, just a moment as well. If we fly on over here, I started work on a new area, which the main base would eventually come to. This was meant to be a farming area. And we're, meant, we're going to eventually build a custom mountain right there. And the main base would be under there, we'd have a massive storage system and stuff. But we hit a kind of wall with this, I lost inspiration for the project. And we've done a lot of work, we terraformed a huge amount of this area, there's massive hills and stuff in the way we got rid of. We moved a bunch of kills over here, started breeding them. And it worked for a time, it filled in a few episodes, but yeah, this wasn't quite good enough. But that hopefully won't happen next time. And that big thing there, we'll take a look at this area. Um, that is a world map. Yeah, we had a quad witch for well, witch huts in here. The next world doesn't have that. But yeah, just look, we've done quite a lot. Well, not really, but still. But yeah, this area here, it's nice and flat. Originally, this was a massive hill as well, and I think it was in the second episode, I completely removed it and put in this little farm. A starter farm. This was the extent of my farming. No automatic farming whatsoever. Next season, that will change. I will take a look at that down there in just a moment. But this was our starting location and we never really moved on from here really. We have a enchanting set setup in here. Chest and there to store books. As you can see I didn't exactly tidy up. Um, tons of storage for many different things. Down here. This was eventually going to lead on to other areas. But we never quite got around to it. This is a box storage system. Before, you know, shulkers, shulker boxes came out, I think I bought this thing. Yeah, it's been quite a while and we didn't really use it properly, it wasn't hooked up to anything. And last but not least, this room up here was our milestone hall. Yeah, as you can see, I've had this world, we've been in this world for over a year and we're only 37 episodes, I think it is. Yeah, I lost inspiration with this thing very, very quickly. And most of this hall wasn't filled up. I prepared to use this up to 10,000 subscribers, which we are nowhere near. We are, well, we are nearly at 1,500 right now. So, yeah, not exactly good. And this last area, oh, night time. Yeah, well, it's okay. And down here, this was what led down to our mines. This was originally a strip mine, but then I started using beacons and we, well, to mining so if we just go on down here yeah you can see the remnants of the strip mine and then massive beacon mines didn't really do much with this but yeah um it was good we got a lot of diamonds and materials from it and well starting amounts of iron now if we come on around here had a little storage thing here uh, we had a skeleton grinder which was never actually finished funnily enough we started work on it, we got most of it in place, we just couldn't get the killing mechanism working. Now we could, we could use, uh, what do you call it, entity cranning to kill the, you know, the skeletons. But at the time that wasn't a thing. Yeah, we had a redstone clock and everything back there, but yeah, this thing wasn't exactly used. So if we continue on, next, I think we should go into the nether. So we can take a look at nether fortress. Because, well, we discovered it very, very fast and we turned it into a basic farm. We never automated it or anything, so it's basically stayed as the poor man's uh, weather skeleton farm. It done the job, it done the job. It was very inefficient, but it worked for the most part. So if we go on through, prepare for lag. I don't have my new PC yet. It will be, well, I'll be doing with it very soon. But yeah, this is, that was very loud. This is the nether hub I built. This was the first ever nether hub I have actually completed and I was very proud of it. 
It was mob proof for the most part, apart from the little areas up here where zombie pigmen could spawn. But apart from that, it was completely mob proof. So, no, we can't access it through there anymore since I finished that tunnel. So, yeah, as you can see, there's another up here. If we fly up, you'll be able to see that we slabbed off a large area, but wasn't quite good enough. And you can see here that essentially what happened was there, there, and there were the ones intersections and there would be paths coming off of them. I kind of grouped them together and turned it into like a large spawning platform. Then there was a blaze a spawner we didn't use. But yeah it did work. We got a few others a few uh, heads out of it at least. So if we come on I think we'll go to the slime farm first. As you can see we've done quite a lot of work. Okay, so down here, as you can see, the tunnels we made were to be used by boats, and when you put a boat on ice, it will go very, very fast. And we put redstone just to make it more proof. So down here was meant to be the quad slime farm. There was four slime chunks grouped together. We only built the farm in one of them, but we didn't spend enough time over there. So... We never quite got the drops we expected. This was a design by El Mango and it is very very efficient but as I said we were never over here at AFKing enough for it to produce enough slime balls. But yeah this project took a while. I think it took seven hours to dig this whole thing out and yeah that kind of bumped me out of Minecraft for a little while. It wasn't quite nice. So we're nearly there. We're about halfway through maybe. Something like that. Uh, next, I was going to show you the village I emptied out, but there isn't really much there. So I think we'll go to the villager trading breeder area. Which is just down here. That's the thing about these tunnels. They're just high enough, so you could use your elytra if you really wish to. Do I have a boat? No, I don't. One of the things I liked about this the nether tunnel design, next season we will build the nether hub higher up in the nether so we don't need to go over massive lava lakes and be hit by gas so it will be a bit safer. As you can see there was a villager that got through somehow, I have no idea how, but he managed to get through the portal. Maybe now he's moving villagers around or something. But yeah I think this is the most automated area of the world. Now, as you can see, this is a strange design, but it is a villager breeder, and it worked quite well. Got a ton of villagers from it, most of them were rubbish. And as you can see, we have a water stream coming from over here, because over there was a, I think it was a potato farm. Completely automatic, we used villagers, and we try to throw the potatoes to other villagers and miss, and they would fall through. And well, yeah, this is where they would go. And we'd have a massive story system here for them. And well, yeah, we got a lot of potatoes for that from that thing. I was really proud of that. Obviously it wasn't my design. I can't remember who designed that one. I think it was SC Perry, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, over here was the villager trading hall, but I moved the villagers out of it. Because I thought they were in well they were messing about with the iron farm over there. And this was the only villager I saved from it. It was my mending villager. Very good trade, vaulting emeralds. I never really got the opportunity to use it though. And over here, we have the iron farm which never worked. I think it worked the first time I built it and then after the I reset it, at one point it just stopped working and I couldn't get it to work again. This design was by Tango Tech. But yeah, um, the only iron we got out of it, I think we got maybe 9 stacks of iron. I used. So yeah, um, last but not least, I think we need to go to the end. Oh, and you can see the starter kind of farm we had there. Um, we need to go to the end so we can see the Enderman XP farm. And I think this is um, the first ever Enderman farm I built. Something like that. It makes sense. Yeah, it was the first Enderman farm I ever built and it worked pretty well. 
I'm not entirely happy with it though, it isn't as efficient as it could be. If we load the farm down to the bottom of the world, the way the spawning mechanics work, um, mobs spawn faster down there, that's why the slime farm is built the way it is. It's insanely efficient. Um, hold on, is there any boats in here? No, there isn't. I never, I never actually filled up that system. Uh, but yeah, all the way down here, I think we built this tunnel fairly recently. Maybe in the past seven or eight episodes. That's about three months for me because I haven't really done anything in here. But yeah, simple design, very end themed, similar to the end cities. Go through here, we've never done anything with the end portal room, I'm afraid. Or oh, one of the old school beds. Yeah, we've never done anything with this place. I wanted to decorate it, but never quite found the time. So I encountered the bug the last eps last time I played in here and that killed me. I fell into the, the void because my elytra wouldn't enable for some reason. And I lost all my stuff. But yeah, this thing is the Enderman farm, which we never finished because, well, well we did finish it, but... Not in the way I wanted, I wanted to build a, a nice tunnel that would lead all the way over here. But guys, I'm afraid that is it for this season of our Minecraft survival. Stay tuned because in a few days we'll be starting the next season on a brand new world. And I'll drop the seed for that when I release that video. I'll also show you what the map looks like when I release that video. And well guys, as always, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.